Basil and Gregory were close friends. In one way, they were opposites. Basil was a man of action who needed projects to challenge his organizational abilities and who enjoyed a stimulating university life. Gregory was a quiet and scholarly man, but in their faith and work for peace and church unity, they were the same. Basil traveled in the East and studied monastic life. He decided to form his own monastic group with his own rule, and Gregory joined him. Their community life was divided between liturgical prayer, study of scripture, and manual work. The rule allowed monks and nuns to operate hospitals and guest houses and to do other good work outside the community. Basil's principles still influence Eastern monasticism. The two friends lived monastic life for about five years. Then Gregory returned home to care for his aging father, a bishop. In those times, priests could marry. Gregory was ordained a priest and took on the duties of his father's diocese. In 374, Basil was made bishop of Caesarea. The church called on Basil to refute the Arian heresy, which claimed that Jesus was not God. The emperor Valens had promoted the heresy. Basil believed the church must be independent of the emperor and spoke out in defense of the church, preaching morning and evening to large crowds. He practiced what he preached. When famine struck, he used his own money to organize a soup kitchen and serve people himself. Basil even built a town. Basil wrote letters. He decided who would be ordained, assisted with prison reform, and warned leaders when punishments were too harsh. Basil corrected clergy who were causing scandal and advised his relatives about which subjects to take in school. He wrote for the church to oppose the Arian heresy and to clarify the doctrines of the Trinity and the Incarnation. Basil knew that if truth were to triumph, faithful bishops were needed in every diocese. When one town known for its fighting was falling away from the faith, Basil ordained Gregory Bishop and sent him there. This caused a rift in their friendship, but they were reconciled later. When the Emperor Valens died, the city of Constantinople had been under Arian leadership for 30 years. The bishops nearby begged Gregory to come and restore the faith. There Gregory made his house a church and preached powerfully on the Trinity. Gradually, he brought back the true faith. When Basil died at the age of 49, he was mourned even by strangers and pagans. Gregory spent his last years reading, writing his autobiography, and enjoying his gardens.